Let's go birding. All right, so I just got out to Lake Pleasant and I'm gonna throw the kayak in the water and paddle out. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go. There's a couple of coves towards the north that I'm gonna kind of hit and see if there's anything out there. And this is kind of just gonna be hit and miss. I'll get out there, see what we can see. All right, let's go. Okay, so I made it out on the lake, and it's a pretty calm lake right now. It's pretty early in the morning, around 7.30. I got a little bit of a late start filming this morning, but I'm gonna make my way back north this direction and see if there's anything in that back cove. So far, I've seen a gull and a turkey vulture airing its wings on the beach, and I'll go ahead and roll that in here right now. So I see some some movement in this back cove. Um, I'm gonna paddle my way over there and see what's back there. Again, other than the turkey vulture and the gull of some sort, um, paddling back here, I saw some. I don't even know what the name of the birds are. I'm just starting this. I'm not that uh, that quick to name some birds. So I'll have to look them up. And when I look them up, I'll, I'll let you know what they are. But Lake Pleasant's kind of full of uh, cormorants this time of year, I guess a neotropic or double-breasted. So more than likely, that's what I'm gonna see a lot of today. And I guess as far as like a classification as like stupid things, right now I have my M50 set up on a tripod in the kayak. It's not water sealed, it's not weatherproof. So it's kind of playing Russian a lot here. I think it'll be okay. It's pretty calm and I'm not a crazy kayaker, so I'm just kind of tooling around. So this is where I'm heading. This, is what, this was my original goal, this north cove. It kind of winds back in here to the right and to the left. I've been back here a couple times and there's some owls back here. I took a picture of some. I took some pictures of some eagles back here. It's just kind of a cool cove. It's kind of out of the way. Not a whole lot of traffic back here. And if any birders that are out there that are good at listening for some some calls. When it's quiet. If you can hear that bird and you know what it is, go ahead and put some comments down below. some sort and I'm geez I gotta be like 10 feet away from it and it does not care that I'm here at all and if I could just keep this thing focused without being jittery all right so pretty successful so far on the way back to this north cove we saw that gull fly by. There was an osprey, maybe a turkey vulture on the, on the bank airing out its wings. It also could have been a cormorant. I'm not sure I have to look at the footage. 
And then once we got back to the mouth of this little north cove, there was a western greb in the water. And when I got back here, perched in a tree, and I thought it was a woodpecker, but it ended up being a belted kingfisher. And then I spotted a sandpiper, a spotted sandpiper on the shore. Filmed it for a little bit. Well, you saw that. Filmed it, and then I saw some legs uh, up above the bird, and I kind of panned up, and there was a great blue heron. So all in all, pretty satisfied so far. I'm going to head back out of this cove and go a little bit further north and see if there's anything out there. See you in a few. So just in the back, a couple of canyon wren and rock wren chirping back here. But nothing big. So I got something up on that crevice right there. Probably a red-tailed hawk or something, or might be the Lake Pleasant bald eagles, which I think it is. So let me go ahead and switch the 400 on here and see if I can get a shot of it. Yeah, it definitely is the eagle. It's kind of nice to see. There's usually a pair of them up here, but there's a bunch of fish jumping like crazy. So I'm wondering if he's just perched up there looking for a meal. Maybe try to move out to some better light, but as I move in, probably take off. Yeah, sure enough, as soon as I shut the camera off, it took off, and I couldn't switch it fast enough to get a shot of it flying away, but it flew south, so I'm going to continue north, see if anything's back there. Well, there's something right there sitting on the shore, I don't know what that is. So what I thought was a bird was just a shadow on the rock right there. I got a blue heron off to my right, sitting up on a, uh, a tree. So I got the osprey right here. I'm swooping down, getting some food. Shit, <laughs> I missed it. It goes too fast. I know it's terrible footage, but I think it's kind of cool. We'll see what happens here. I don't know if anything's in focus or not. But I don't want to pass this up. I should probably throw on a 100 millimeter lens instead of the 400. Obviously, I'm having a problem tracking this guy. Definitely on fish, though. I mean, there's plenty of fish back here. Very difficult to hold the 400 millimeter steady. It's not image stabilized, and neither is the M50. 
Oh, I got the Osprey here. And there's an egret behind me. I think it's an egret. So let's take a look and see what these guys do. All right, so that was pretty cool, that Osprey. I'm sorry about the footage. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna turn out, but I'm not gonna know until I get home and take a look at the footage, but I hope it came out a little bit uh, in focus. But all in all, for my first day out birding, a little vlog here, um, not too bad. Saw the bald eagle, the western greb, the turkey vulture, the Osprey going after the fish, the belted kingfisher, the egret, some sort of goal at the very beginning. So I'm gonna go home, take a, take a look at the footage, put something together, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like always, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share it with somebody, give me a thumbs up if you want to, and that's gonna do it for me. See ya.